I'm a big believer in knowing the classics and one of the all time classics has got to be a Caesar salad, doesn't it? I've got some leftover chicken from my dear darling wife. <laughs> Bullshit. Butchered it off the bone. Look how much meat's left on this. Oh, that's terrible. Two things here. At least you stuffed it with lemon and garlic. Good job. Thank you. We're going to use some of that garlic. But right now, I just want to focus and concentrate on this chicken because there's loads of chicken left on this. Nice big bit of skin there, which we'll chop up. Look at that bit there. A whole chicken oyster. It's like winning the chicken lottery, seriously. How much meat do we think I'm gonna get off this chicken? Two cuts. You could be right. I think I've got pretty much all of the meat off of that carcass now. And so what we do have here is some delicious chicken skin, which I'm just gonna cut up. Okay, straight on top of some lettuce in our bowl, our chicken. We just wanna shred up into smaller pieces, just tear it up nice and easily. Any big chunks like that, like the half leg that she carved off and left on the chicken. Bless her. At least she had a go at cooking. Into our salad. Now, the all important dressing. So, I'm gonna use a little whiz whiz machine. What are they called? What's the machine called? What's that thing called? Stick blender. Stick blender. I'm using a stick blender today uh, to make the dressing. So, this garlic was inside the chicken and I want a little piece of garlic not much, a quarter of a clove in our dressing. Some cornichons and some capers. Both uh, have been squeezed, all the juice out of them. Some anchovy, big spoon of mustard. Vegetarian oyster sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Good glug. Some Tabasco sauce. Now, I don't wanna taste the Tabasco so much, I just want a hint of heat. Lemon juice and apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, less of what I'm gonna do lemon juice because I want it to be more citrusy than I do vinegary. Then I'm gonna put the juice of a whole lemon in here. I need one of those lemon things. It's been on a shopping list for ages. Now, we need something to emulsify a Caesar dressing with. For me, that is egg yolk. So we're just gonna get two yolks. And then, finally, we need some grapeseed oil and Parmesan cheese. And just cut up the cheese a little bit. A Little bit of white pepper, and then we're gonna blitz it. See, you just wanna blend this enough so that it's kinda got the texture of Dijon mustard, really. It should be relatively smooth before you start adding the oil. Okay, now we're gonna add about roughly, give or take 200 mils of grapeseed oil into this while it's buzzing. All right, let's have a little taste. Now we're there. Yum. Okay, we're gonna dress our salad. Simple, right? Croutons. And then we're just gonna mix it gently. So let's have a look here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start building it now. What I do is get some dressing, put it in a squeezy bottle. I'll make a batch of Caesar, keep it in the fridge. And this is a really nice way to add your dressing sneakily without anyone noticing. So we're just gonna build the salad on the plate. And as we go along, we're gonna drop bits of our chicken and bits of our crouton in there. So as every part of the salad is not only dressed, but has some goodies in there as well. Get the little bit artistic kind of vibes going on. 
vibes. Listen to me, I've been hanging around my 20 year old too much. Okay, this is the sneaky bit. In my mind, I've gone light on in the dressing, right? Which means that I can do this. Add on another massive layer of dressing <laughs> on top, which I love. We're now gonna add egg. I'll do one half there. I'll do a little quarter there. Then I've got some beautiful anchovies, some speck that's been through the oven. Who doesn't love speck? Come on. A couple extra croutons. And just to finish it off, we're just gonna give it a little bit of magic Italian fairy dust, Parmigiano Reggiano. And there you have a chicken Caesar fit for Caesar. Thanks for watching. And if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.